All right, a uh, pretty quiet weather picture across southeastern North Carolina. Now, tomorrow we are going to have a reinforcing shot of cold air moving into the area. So while temperatures in Wilmington did get in the 60s today, they're going to be back in the lower 50s for highs tomorrow, maybe about 10 degrees colder uh, than where we were today. And we'll probably see some sub-freezing temperatures starting off on Friday morning. But our weather story still continues to be what's going to happen over the weekend where a big storm system is going to form in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, some of the newer computer models showing a few changes from what we thought yesterday. Again, you can see the storm system still taking shape in the Gulf of Mexico as we head towards Saturday afternoon. Now, if you've got outdoor plans, this has not changed. Saturday is the day for outdoor plans. Let me repeat, Saturday is the day for any of your outdoor plans that you have to do, whether you're working or playing, because Sunday, not likely to be a pretty picture at all as this low pressure area continues to work its way across the Florida Peninsula. Now, uh, the change that we've seen, it looks like almost all the computer models now seem to be merging on a solution closer to the coast, which likely means a better chance of heavier rain moving into the area. And already by Sunday morning, you can see at least some showers moving into the area. But again, it's Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, likely when the worst of the weather moves through. We could be talking about very significant amounts of rain, maybe as much as several inches of rain, potentially causing a little bit of localized flooding. And also, there may be a risk of a few thunderstorms in the mix as well. Cannot completely discount the possibility of severe weather. Needless to say, with this low pressure area, you don't want to even think about boating on Sunday. Dangerous uh, conditions along the coast, and maybe even some minor coastal flooding too with this kind of uh, storm track. Uh, likely by Sunday night, the worst of it starting to push back to the north. Monday, some leftover showers potentially uh, in very breezy conditions. So here's a breakdown of the hazards that we think we're going to see late Saturday into Monday. Rough seas, minor coastal flooding again. No boating. It is going to be extremely dangerous along the water. Sunday into early Monday, periods of heavy rain, localized flooding, a real possibility. I think at least some spots could walk away with several inches of rain. And now with the track closer to the coast, we're looking at a growing risk of gusty thunderstorms as well. And we are monitoring potentially Sunday and maybe even Monday potentially for first alert action day. Stay tuned. We'll have more on that as we really start to uh, get a better sense of the timing and exact impacts that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, as we head into your Thursday, mostly sunny skies, cooler, a high of 52 degrees, north winds, uh, probably at times over 10 miles per hour, so a little bit on the gusty side on those winds. So you'll probably want to jack it around for much of the day tomorrow. And of course, we know the sunset now. Finally, tomorrow gets a little bit later. It's 502 tonight in Wilmington, but gets a little bit later starting tomorrow. Whiteville and Ocean Isle Beach reporting mostly clear skies. Currently 55 in Wilmington, 56 Elizabeth Town, but we are doing better than 24 hours ago, seven degrees warmer than it was, but the hour by hour forecast model shows that reinforcing shot of cold air pushing into the area later tonight. Temperatures likely in the 30s as you start off tomorrow and there you can see highs in the 50s for tomorrow. So here it is, your seven day forecast, 57 on Friday, Saturday, close to 60 degrees. We'll start to see a few more clouds, a few stray showers, but Sunday now, rain, storms, windy conditions for that low pressure area, not going to be a pretty picture at all. That's likely to spill over into Sunday night, even some leftover showers on Monday, a high of 60, and then back to cooler and dry conditions by Tuesday and Wednesday. Just into our newsroom, a man charged.